set your sights Set them high Give it all Reach for the sky Find your dream Make it real Never give up No matter how you feel Life is worth making It's a new Hi, I'm Michelle Catlin, Community Outreach Coordinator at Claxton Hepburn Medical Center. I'm here today with three of our surgeons, Dr. Chris Brandy, Dr. Kiri Brandy, and Dr. Noah Zucker. And today they're going to talk to you about colonoscopy screening, colon cancer, and the importance of getting tested. Hi, I'm Chris Brandy, surgeon at Claxton Hepburn Hospital. I'm here with two of my colleagues, Dr. Kiri Brandy and Dr. Noah Zucker. We're going to talk to you today about colonoscopy and screening for colon rectal cancer. We have a dedicated unit here at the hospital that we're very proud of and we're going to proceed with discussing colonoscopy and the indications for it. Dr. Zucker will tell you some of the indications why you should have a colonoscopy done. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer in the United States and here in St. Lawrence County it actually has a higher incidence than national and state incidences. We recommend colonoscopy should be performed at starting at age 50 and that is consistent with the American College of Gastroenterology recommendations. Some of the specific risk factors are a family history of colon cancer, any history of rectal bleeding, a significant change in bowel habits, and any previous history of a colon tumor or a colon polyp in which we would recommend a follow-up screening colonoscopy. Uh, Dr. Kiri Brandy will tell you about having a colonoscopy done here in our unit and what the preparation is like. We're sitting here in the dedicated um, endoscopy suite where we do our colonoscopies. We are the three endoscopists. We are available to do colonoscopies 24-7. We do do scopes five days a week. We, in order to have your scope done, it is an outpatient procedure where you are monitored by an anesthetist. Um, you start to drink the prep the night before. Um, it is a very nice prep in terms of it's a laxative with some Gatorade that you drink the night before. You come to your colonoscopy procedure and it takes about 15 minutes. Um, at the end it is an outpa outpatient procedure so you can return to work. Most people can return to work the next day. You are completely asleep um, during the colonoscopy. You don't feel anything. You don't you don't wake up and watch it on the screen like people have in the past. Carrie, the complaint I hear from most people is being worried about the preparation. They've heard wives' tales about how long it takes, how dreadful it tastes, it costs them a whole day of work to get the preparation done. Could you explain how we've made it much more pleasant than what it used to be in the past? I think over the years the preps have gotten a lot better. Um, when you prep for your colonoscopy for us, it's um, a few pills of laxative and then you take um, Gatorade and mix it with Miralax. Um, our prep Miralax is tasteless, so um, you can kind of mix it with whatever flavor you would like. You drink it over a period of an hour or so, and then um, you can actually, um, you know, you, you have results from the prep. Um, people say that it's a lot nicer than drinking the kind of antifreeze gallon that we used to do in the past. Um, you usually have results from the prep and you can fall asleep and the next day you're prepped for your colonoscopy and people say that it's um, much nicer than some of the harsher preps we've used in the past. One of the complaints used to be the medications that we gave people 
it gave them a hangover, made them drowsy, made them uh, very uncomfortable afterwards. We're now using a medication called Propofol that's administered by the uh, nurse anesthetist. It's a magic drug in my opinion. It works like a light switch. You're immediately asleep, asleep when they turn the medication off. You're immediately awake with no hangover, no drowsiness, no nausea vomiting. Within an hour or less, you're able to go home and return to normal activity. I tell people to go back to work the next day, no problem at all. Let me show you some of the uh, state-of-the-art equipment we have. We now do everything uh, on video. In the old days, we used to look into the camera. Now we have this a TV camera on the end of the scope, and everything is projected up on the small TV screen, and then I watch a larger TV screen on the wall. We do everything uh, endoscopically with, with this equipment that you can see is quite malleable, quite soft. Most of us use the pediatric sized scope. It's a little smaller than, than most of the other scopes. And this is the newest equipment that we've got from Olympus, which we uh, love. This has the capability of taking pictures while we're doing the procedure. Um, I send a copy of this to the, your chart. It stays in the chart with you. Your family physician gets a report, and I give a copy of this to you to take home with you. This particular person actually had a quite large polyp there. Our intent is to find polyps early before they become cancerous and remove them. If it has become cancerous, many times we can remove the polyp right at the time of the colonoscopy before it has a chance to spread. If a cancer is too large to be removed by colonoscopy, then it requires surgery. But if we find the cancer soon enough, the surgery can be done and achieve a cure without ever having to have chemotherapy or radiation therapy. So the essence is to find either the polyp soon or find the cancer soon so that we can cure it without any uh, more extensive interventions such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy. So with all this information, uh, I've decided to have a colonoscopy. How do I investigate that and what do I do next? It's easy. You don't need a referral to be seen in our office. Um, you can be seen by one of us or our nurse practitioner merely by calling the office at 393-2611 or if you forget that number you can call the main hospital at Claxton Hepburn and they can connect you with our office and we will get you in for a colonoscopy as soon as possible. I hope you found the information that the physicians talked about worthwhile and if you're still contemplating a colonoscopy I urge you to please make that phone call because colon cancer is treatable, beatable, and preventable. For more information Thirty-six hundred, or visit us on the web at www.claxtonhepburn.org. Thank you. Do it well.